23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The Delano City Council will hold off on making Delano a sanctuary city. The council discussed adopting a resolution, but ultimately decided to wait. Members of the council said they would be interested in moving forward with declaring Delano a sanctuary city as long as the resolution falls in line with SB 54, the bill that makes California a sanctuary state. The Delano City Council is expected to revisit the sanctuary city resolution at its next meeting on August 5th. A new indoor multi sports complex is coming to Bakersfield. It's the first of its kind in Kern County, according to the Game Day Sports Academy owners. The complex will be at the old track house location next to the boulevard. The facility is a partnership with Dignity Health and will include five basketball courts, two weight rooms and student athlete classrooms. A local organization is partnering with the Housing Authority to help bring 500 backpacks to low income students. She powers holding a school supply drive to alleviate material costs for low income families. According to a survey done by Coinstar, around 45% of parents spend between $100 and $300 in school supplies. The drive is focusing on ages 12 to 18 in order to help middle and high school students receive the tools to succeed in school. The school drive will continue until August 2nd. Well, Kern County has felt a fresh breeze this afternoon, and that's only going to be continuing into the overnight hours. So some of the strongest winds that we will be seeing across the county are going to be through the Tehachapi Pass as well as down into our desert cities. They have the possibility of gusts reaching up to 40 miles per hour, but thankfully due to this fresh onshore flow, temperatures are going to be staying near seasonal through Thursday, and then we have a big cool down on the way this weekend down to 95 degrees on Friday and Saturday. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to your website to our website, turn to 23.com.